Hello, Tyler Bryden, co-founder and CEO of SpeakAI here. Today, very excited to talk about the continued release and growth of the Magic Prompt system within Speak. If you remember the original version of this, there is a great demo on, I say great with some subjectiveness on, uh, because I made the demo, where basically we say how we can look at an individual file here and uh, you can take some prompts, and then it's going to spit out the response. This is fantastic. We saw a ton of people using this, millions and millions of characters being used through suggested prompts that we had in the system. And then we moved ahead and we said, hey, we're actually going to give you your own custom prompts within Speak. And that was exciting in its own right. But there were some really interesting limitations with it. And we're glad to say that those limitations are now gone. And one of those limitations I'll just talk about quickly was if you had, for example, a very long speech, and there's a couple of the ones that are in here, for example, that are really long. If there was 10,000 words or more, uh, it would actually send you multiple responses back. And so you wouldn't feel like you were getting the concise, meaningful response that you want. What we can say now is that there are no more character limits within Speak. So you can go to a longer file, one like this, that would generally not be capable of being analyzed in one single go. And I can say, hey, give me a bullet point list summary of this speech. And it will sift through that information. It will because of the larger ability to process a lot of media and words, it will then compile it and then send the output back and it will be one concise, meaningful response. So that's something that is fantastic and really solves a lot of problem for the lengthier documents that people were maybe having some challenges with before. It has now come back and it's got the bullet point list summary all in one shot. Now, the couple interesting things that are here is that first of all, you can view the history and that has been standard within the platform, but you can do this and see the assistant type and you'll see that this is a new thing. The assistant type, basically what it does is it allows you to preset on text uh, and how the system is going to understand what you might be looking for and based on your role, the output to be. And so if it's a general, it's more general researcher, marketer, we're going to be adding more of these. And if you have requests, we can add it in. No, no worries about that. So when you choose your prompt, you can also choose the assistant type and that's going to help tailor the response even more. But, but I think most people are going to be super excited about is that we can now go from a folder level and analyze many files at once. So with the Speak Magic Prompt system, I can go in here and from the entire folder, I've got all these Amazon reviews. I can go prompt and I can say, hey, I'm a researcher and I want to know, I'll create a SWOT analysis. I'm going to go even a little bit more specific because this idea of prompt engineering is really important. So it's create a SWOT analysis based off these Amazon reviews as a competitor um, looking to build a better product. And I can hit submit. And instead of, again, this limitation of only one file, here we now have Speak working across all these files within the folder to do the SWOT analysis on many Amazon reviews at once and then give you the really nicely fine-tuned response that is super powerful and super meaningful for the work that you're doing. And so this was definitely one of the most requested functionalities that we had for the system. We're super excited to see this come live and we can't wait to see all the different ways that you're now going to be using multi-file prompting to unlock new value from your data sets within Speak. And this means that you can do it on audio, video, and text all at once. You can do it across different data sources. It's really incredible what this opens up. You can see the exact answers from these reviews, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And then even at the end here, an amazing summary of how they could build a better product. So really amazing shift. The technology continues to get better. The character limits is better and better. And we're going to continue to improve the system with even more advanced filters of saying, Hey, these specific files within that folder. And if you have other thoughts, feedback, things you want on the product roadmap with this functionality, please let us know. We always love to hear from you. And just on that pricing note, we continue to optimize speak as a whole 
around pricing for, again, speech recognition, for magic prompts, all this stuff. Right now, anyone in the 14-day trial gets 100,000 characters included in their account so they can test out and experiment with this. And then we have made it really easy for you to go into either adding a balance or and using magic prompts from that balance or visiting the subscription page and including that in your account. So very easily, you can check that out, add it, and then start using magic prompts right away. As always, we've got this dedicated page on this where we'll update this with a couple of the recent notes and then the video here. You've got the previous videos as context. You've got the Speak AI YouTube channel, which is always a great spot for the most up-to-date resources. And overall, we think that this is a super, super exciting uh, update to speak. The prompts will continue to be popping up in a couple more areas soon. And we look forward to working with you to continue to just extract amazing value out of the language data together. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you so much for being a user of speak. Bye-bye.